Okay, so you've bought Tom Clancy's The Division, installed the updates and cranked that puppy up. Now what? Well, by the end of this video, you know exactly what. So let's learn Tom Clancy's The Division. Welcome to The Division. My name is Metallicane and I'll be your guide today as we figure out just how to get the most out of this wonderful game. By the conclusion of this video, you should have a decent understanding of how to play and progress through the game and how to get started in the end game. In part two, I'll go into more detail in the end game and what you should be doing there. I plan the Xbox, but the features discussed will apply to all platforms as I won't be going into detail on how much better PC players can aim and the techniques associated. First of all, there are really two main ways to go with the division at this point. Start off with a fresh character, get through the first couple of tutorial missions, and then with the help of a friend who is already through to the end game, Level as quickly as possible by selecting hard missions and getting your friend to do all the killing. You'll get to level 30 and the end game very quickly. However, the better way in my opinion is to get stuck into the story and level up at a normal pace. There are a couple of reasons for this. Number one, you'll get your money's worth with a fairly decent story and mission structure and B, you'll actually appreciate and learn different weapons, mods and gear and learn as you go. It'll make the end game make more sense. For the sake of this video, I'm going to assume that you are going the normal pace route. If you manage to level up the quick way, keep an eye out for my end game video coming soon. Loading into the game, you'll be able to create your character's basic look and be directed to do a few basic things like follow your map, try your guns out, and get to the first safe house. At this point, hit your menu button and have a look around. Go into inventory and explore the options. It's in here you can change your weapons, gear, and appearance. You'll get more options as you level up. There are three starter missions to do which you can find on your map, so select one and follow your waypoint to complete it. Once those three are complete, you can then do the first real mission, the Precinct Siege. Take cover, shoot bad guys, and take out the boss. It might take you a few tries to do that, but that's okay, you will get through. After that is a cutscene, and you need to run to the base of operations or boo, kill the boss that's outside, and you have your base. Now you're in the game proper. Start off by unlocking the three wings of the boo. Medical, Technical, and Security. To do this, you'll need to complete the initial mission for each wing. Medical is Madison Field Hospital, Technical is Subway Morgue, and Security is Lincoln Tunnel Checkpoint. You can find everything on your map. Each of these missions is fairly straightforward. Shoot the bad guys, kill the boss at the end. Then go back to the boo and talk to the head of each wing. Open the laptop and upgrade the first part of that wing. But which parts of each wing should I open first, Metallicane? I hear you moan. Well, that's a good question. And a lot of that is based on personal preference. Personally, I like to focus on staying alive first and doing damage second. So I tend towards opening more medical wing skills such as the support station and self-heal. Which also allows you to go into more contaminated areas, opening up more options for side missions and encounters. My suggestion is to really have a look at the wings and see what skills you want to try out and focus on opening those first. There's no hard and fast rule. New to you, boo-boo. Each skill has its pros and cons, as well as upgrades that can be unlocked in each wing. When the wing is at 100%, you get the master perk to each skill, which provides an extra bonus. Seeker mines will suddenly go over obstacles, and destroying your support station will give you a 33% heal immediately. There are many others, so investigate at your discretion. Alongside skills in the wing upgrades, you get talents and perks. There are 8 unique talents per wing, and you can have 4 equipped at a time to help boost certain aspects of your character. Depending on your playstyle and weapons, some will be more useful than others. Like playing as a sniper? Then using one as none is handy for a 50% chance of not using a bullet when headshotting a hostile. Prefer using cover? Then tactical advance and evasive action might be the talents to consider, as one reduces damage taken, and the other gives you a damage buff. There are many different combinations and half the fun is trying these out to see what suits your particular playstyle. Perks are different in that once they are unlocked through the wing upgrades, they are always active and include practical advantages such as more medkit slots, increased inventory, more grenades, etc. Keep progressing through the story missions and pick up any items along the way. There is a lot to discover in the world with phones, echoes and lost agents to find. So wander through the streets. Make your way to all the safe houses and talk to the NPC there for your situation report on the area. Then go to the map board and sync it with your map. Voila! New missions and encounters. And each safe house unlocks a fast travel point to get around quicker. 
Along the way you'll pick up a lot of gear and guns. Try new weapons and equip higher level gear as you go to get a feel for each type of gun. You can add mods to both gear and weapons, improving their damage or abilities, get more stability or critical hit chance, or a whole bunch of other attributes. At this point, before the end game, experiment with different combinations and see what works for you. Later you'll probably want to focus on specific builds for specific jobs. Don't worry about rerolling gear or weapons until you get to World Tier 5 after level 30. World Tier what now, you ask? Yeah, there are 5 World Tiers based on gear level once you hit level 30. So when you get to World Tier 5, the lower tier items are obsolete. As a quick overview, gear can lean towards firearms, stamina or electronics. Fancy doing heaps of damage? Then equip gear with mods promoting firearms. Want to take a lot of damage and be a bit tanky? Then stamina it is. However, if you prefer using skills to do your dirty work, then electronics is the way to go. It's up to you. So what do you do with gear you pick up that you don't want? There are two main options, selling and deconstructing. Selling items at vendors gains you credits which you can use to buy more gear and weapons, though I suggest saving it up till post level 30 where you'll need it to reroll talents on your gear to get the best pieces. Deconstructing destroys an item and give you resources such as weapon parts, fabric or electronics which are used to construct gear and weapons later on. For now I would focus on acquiring credits as you will need these a lot once you hit the level cap. There are a number of other currencies as well such as Phoenix credits, Dark Zone credits, Cypher keys and GE credits, but we'll go over those in the next video. You can also put items in your stash if you can't decide whether to keep it or not. The last thing I'll mention are commendations. If you press your menu button you will see the dossier in the top left of the screen. In here you can find the recordings and evidence you have picked up during missions and wandering the streets. But there are also commendations which you can do whilst in missions or free roam. Completing commendations rewards you with cipher key fragments and patches to wear. 10 cipher key fragments make up a cipher key, which can be exchanged for an encrypted cache at the premium vendor for sweet vanity items. See a dude running around with a cool hat or funky emote and that's probably where they got it from. Commendations can be anything from closing car doors while in cover to wearing different gear sets to more difficult mission based objectives such as completing missions on the hardest difficulty flawless. It's really useful to know these as starting early on can make it easier to achieve each, as well as sometimes be a welcome break from the grind of missions. And that's pretty much the basics of the division. Rinse and repeat a lot of this content until you get to level 30 where the end game begins. Play all the missions, enjoy the story, shoot bad guys, collect gear. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you got something useful please like and subscribe to keep up to date with future videos.